to Little Worship Company Bible Time. My name's Jo. Have you ever stopped to think about how incredible this world is? I mean, think of a clear night sky when you look up and see dots of sparkling stars covering the sky. And you start to count them, but you simply can't. The more you see, the more new ones start to sparkle and appear. It's so awesome. It reminds me of a story that's often told at Christmas, but it's one of my favourites, as it's all about stars and how God's amazing light can guide us. It's based on the book of Matthew 2 from the Bible, and it's called The Star Guide. Should we look in the sack to see what mystery clue we've got that will help us with the story today? Ooh, look, a golden pot. I like it. <laughs> This story started just before Christmas began. If you head to the east, and when you get there, go east another four miles, and then a very big hop, a skip, and a jump, east of course, you will be where the story begins. When Casper was born, his favorite thing in the whole world was nighttime. He would lie in his bed, looking up at the glorious, dark sky with stars sparkling like glowworms everywhere. He would chat to God and say, One day, I want to be a star. I want to sparkle and shine and glow and glisten. God heard the little boy's hopes and dreams and knew that one day this little man would indeed be a star, even if it wasn't the kind he was expecting. Casper went to school with all the other kids and as he grew older, he made two very special friends, Melchior and Balthazar. The boys listened to Casper talking about stars and they too became fascinated by his wonderful hobby. The boys would meet at each other's houses and share their findings. Look boys, that one over there is called the North Star and that one over there is called the plough. And Melchior would reply, Oh yes, and if you look carefully at that one, I think it's called the Seven Sisters because there are seven right next to each other. One day Casper was outside waiting for his friends to arrive when God spoke to him. Casper, I have put a new star in the sky for you to find. Look to the east and watch it closely. After a short dance of joy, Casper ran to the middle of the garden and looked into the night sky. And there, in the centre, was a new star. It shone very brightly and appeared to have a white ring around it. Casper kept his eye on that star day after day, month after month and year after year. Casper did what God asked and never stopped watching his special star. When Casper was completely grown up, the most unusual thing happened. Melchior and Balthazar had been at work and Casper was preparing some food for his friends. He glanced outside and saw his precious star. His whole body got goosebumps. The star had just dropped in front of his eyes. Had he just imagined that, he wondered. Casper slowly raised his head and watched the star draw closer to him. Casper needed to ask God a question. Uh, God, you've told me to watch it closely. It, 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 it seems to be moving. What would you like me to do? Casper, I always told you that you were a star. Now is your time to shine. Take your camels and follow the light. It will lead you to a baby who will be the king of kings. Take some gifts as a birthday present. Many people called the three friends wise men because they had become so good at reading the stars. The men got their camels ready and found the best gifts that they could find for this new baby. The friends travelled for a long while, full of excitement that the star of their childhood was leading them somewhere. They had quite the adventure in the unusual and foreign land. They met street sellers and travellers, soldiers and even King Herod. Finally, the star 
stopped in the middle of a busy part of Bethlehem. It shone brighter than any other day Caspar had seen it, and it lit up the night sky, bathing the street in warm yellow light. The men tied up their camels and then knocked on the entrance of a wooden stable block and waited with hope to meet the very special baby inside. Come in, a lady called Mary said. And there he was, baby Jesus, lying in a manger, surrounded by shepherds and angels and animals, and of course lit up by the star that had helped the wise men find him. And they gave their gifts to the tiny baby king, and then joined in with the singing and the celebrating. I love that story, don't you? God sometimes gives you a dream or a love for something deep within your heart, and he did it for a reason. He did it so you could shine your light brightly for him too. Thank you for watching Little Worship Company Bible Time. <laughs> See you again next time. And remember, God loves you so much that he has a great plan for you too. Bible Time stories, you can subscribe here or you can click here or here to watch more fun and inspiring videos.